You're on a beach. You're on a beach. Tell me more about this beach. I see a volcano. Mm, tell me about this volcano. It's like, it's magnificent. I've never seen anything like it. What does it look like? It's not, there's no lava. It's not like erupting. Mm -hmm. I mean, like, I just see like blue everywhere. Like the most crystal blue water. Mm -hmm. The most crystal blue sky. Like there's, there's greenery everywhere. It's just like beautiful. The air is so fresh. Where does it feel like you are? First place that comes to mind. I first thought Hawaii, but this feels like it's like another world. Like, okay, another world similar to Hawaii. Okay, let's connect a bit deeper to this beautiful beach, the space with the volcano. Going deeper now, connecting. What else do you see in this space? I'm in the water a lot, like almost like, like I live in the water. Okay. It's feeling like you live in the water. Let's look at your feet or the bottom portion of, of your body, your hands as well. What does your body look like as you're in this water? I think I'm a mermaid. You look like a mermaid in this way. What about your, your bottom portion of your body you don't doesn't look like you have feet or legs no, it's like a tail I have a tail you have a tail what color is this tail like a blue green shimmery <clears throat> blue it, green it, it's big it's not big. like I'm not a fish I'm 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 like human size your human size now it's going up from the tail what is what does the tail look like as it meets your waist and torso what does your body look like, the rest of you? I'm, I'm like half human, half fish. Half human, half fish. Are you male or female? Female. Female. Okay. What does your, uh, what do your hands look like? My fingers are webbed. Your fingers are webbed. What is the webbing? What color is the webbing in your fingers? Like bluish green. Bluish green. So just like the tail? Yeah. Did you have um, scales? Did it look like all over your tail as well? Yeah. Scales yeah. all over your tail. And a fish-like tail. Also, what does your uh, hair look like in this space? In your face? My hair is long and dark. Long and dark. What about your face? What do you look like? I have like like roundish features, but I'm I'm thin, thin yet round, roundish features, yet thin. Okay, tell me what age do you look like in this space? If you had to guess, what do you look like age wise? Like twenty seven. Twenty seven. Okay. Are there any adornments on your body? Any jewelry? anything else that you're wearing that seems important? No. No adornments. Are you by yourself in this ocean? Or are there others like you? There are others like me. Others like you. Do you see them around? They're close by, but I'm, I'm like hanging out by the shore by hanging myself. Out. Hanging out by the shore by yourself. What happens next as you're hanging out by the shore? I 
I'm like watching or or looking for like something. What what are you looking for or watching for? You know, first thing that comes to mind. <sighs> human. Human. What human? A man. A man? Which man? What's his name? First name that comes to mind. Jack. Jack. Who is this human man to you? I'm in love with him. Okay. But I don't know him. I've just been watching him from afar. Does he know you? He has sensed me. And has thought he's seen me. What happens next? He's leaving. Okay. Leaving where? This island. Leaving the island. What island is this? First name that comes to mind. Mount Vesuvius just popped into my brain. Okay. Mount Vesuvius. Okay. So he's leaving Mount Vesuvius. He's leaving this island where you are. How does this make you feel? Sad and angry. Sad and angry. What happens next? I think his ship. You sink his ship. How do you sink his ship? I put holes in it. How? With with like a um, I don't know what it's called. Like a um. Like in, in Ariel, what King Triton had. Yeah. The, yeah, with one of those. Yes. Okay. I, I stole it. You stole a trident. I think that's what those are called. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, the the three spike trident thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you, you used one of those to poke holes in the ship. Yeah. Who'd you steal it from? First name that comes to mind, first thing that comes to mind. He's the king of this the un- king of- underwater world that I'm a part of. And his name is Thomas. Thomas. So King Thomas of this under underwater world. So you said you stole this? Yeah. How are you able to steal it? I have magical powers. What kind of magical powers? I'm able to to call things to me, like to, to control things. Mm. Okay. So this is how you were able to steal it easily? Yeah. I see. So you stole the trident, you poked the ship, then what happens next? I sunk the ship and made sure everyone died. Everyone, including that man? Yeah. Including, including Jack? Yeah. Then what happens next after... They all perish. I regret it. You regret it. Tell me more about what you're feeling in this moment, in this space. I, f- I felt I felt like I was justified in doing it because I felt abandoned. Mm. I felt like he was abandoning me. And I'm I'm used to controlling things and getting what I want. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And so, because I couldn't have him, mm-hmm. I didn't want anyone to have him. Mm-hmm. Was he abandoning you or was something else happening there? Why did he have to go? Because he's not a part of my my world. 
He's mm. not, he doesn't live here. He, he doesn't live on this island. He can't. Oh, he doesn't live on the island. He can't. Why can't he? People don't live on the island. They only come to visit. Why do they visit there? Because it's beautiful. But why can no one live there? It's dangerous. How so? There are a lot of wild animals on the island that that would eat eat people alive. Mm. So he couldn't really stay after all, or else he would have gotten killed that way. Right. So that's why he left. Right. Did you know this, or did you just think he was abandoning you? I, well, I, oh. I, I knew he couldn't stay, but I also felt so overwhelmed with love and anger and feelings of abandonment that I wanted to control the outcome. Mm, I see. So what happens next after all of this? I live... I lived the rest of my life really angry, mm. really upset with myself, really regretful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I take that out on more humans. How so? I, I think ships. Mm. The same way? Different ways. Different ways. I find it like fun in a mm. sick way to come up with like different ways. Okay. So you continue to do this for how long? The rest of my life. Rest of your life. What happens next? I live a really miserable life. Mm-hmm. In a really beautiful world. Mm. What was your name in this space? Is this mermaid? Mary. Mary? hmm So, Mary, let's go to the last day of your life in this space, in the water, in this water world is this mermaid, Mary. What, what's happening on this last day of your life? I'm just over it. You're over it. Tell me more. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I've hurt so many people and caused so much pain. Mhm. Mhm. I don't really want I don't want to keep doing this. I don't want to keep living this life. You don't have to, fully understanding that. What did you learn from this lifetime? What was the lesson? That control isn't everything. That control Mm -hmm. doesn't make you happy. Mm -hmm. And that as much as we think we're in control, we're actually never in control. Mm. Mm-hmm.